With Israelis still traumatized by the October 7th Hamas massacre, the Knesset, Israel's parliament, this week overwhelmingly voted to reject unilateral recognition of a Palestinian state. Israel will continue to oppose unilateral recognition of a Palestinian state. Such a recognition in the wake of the October 7th massacre would be a massive and unprecedented reward to terrorism. The international community has sharply condemned Israel's actions in Gaza, which have led to more than 29,000 dead, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry, and a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. They have also said that Gaza must be part of a future Palestinian state. And the Palestinian Authority, which controls the West Bank, sees the current international response to the Israel-Hamas war as an opportunity to push for that state. The world should not heed the position of Netanyahu and his government, which rejects the two-state solution. Instead, the world should strive to end the occupation, unilaterally recognize the state of Palestine, and vote for Palestine to become a member state in the United Nations. U.S. news reports say Washington envisions a new regional order in which Israel would agree to a demilitarized Palestinian state in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. In return, Israel would get a long-coveted peace deal with Saudi Arabia, which in turn would get a defense pact with the U.S. Other Arab countries that already have peace agreements with Israel would provide security assurances that the Palestinian state would not become a threat to Israel. Some Palestinian analysts and former peace talks negotiators view the U.S. initiative as unrealistic and not substantive. When the U.S. talks about a Palestinian state, I don't think there is much clarity about the substance of what this means. When they talk about it, they really are responding to a regional demand to at least have a political horizon. It has been tried before. In 1993, Israel and the Palestinians, together with U.S. President Bill Clinton, signed the Oslo Accords, laying out a roadmap to a Palestinian state. That never happened. But some Oslo negotiators say it's not too late, even after the October 7th Hamas massacre and ensuing four months of war in Gaza. Usually you make peace after war. Look at the history that we all study. When did we have uh, in history in Europe or in other places uh, peace treaties after wars? So uh, usually after wars, the hatred on both sides increases. So how come? Because people want to get rid of it of the problem and eventually are ready to do to to make peace but Balin's vision of peace is not in line with current Israeli public opinion, according to a poll by the Israel Democracy Institute that finds two-thirds of Jewish Israelis do not support a Palestinian state, even as part of an agreement that includes peace with Saudi Arabia. Linda Gradstein, VOA News.